Hello everybody, this is Bitoski, and in this Granger tutorial, I'll be sharing with you all my best tips and tricks on how to play him in the most efficient way. I believe Granger is a very strong marksman, and if you follow these tips, I believe you can start dominating with him right away. For a starter, this is how I build Granger. The most important item that you should get right away is Berserker Fury, because this item will make your critical damage deal 40% more damage, which is a great synergy with his first skill and his ultimate. Personally, the emblem I recommend is the Fighter Emblem, because if you compare side by side, Fighter and Assassin Emblem, we can see that the damage stat is not too far off, but with the Fighter Emblem you can sustain a lot more. The spell I recommend are Sprint, if you are fighting against very mobile heroes, Purify against crowd control like Cho and Guinevere, Retribution if you want to farm very fast. Now let's go to the gameplay. Zilong. In my latest video of Granger, I saw that a lot of people were a little bit disappointed that I got 30 kills but in a classic match, even though the enemy had 2 mythic and 1 legend player. So in this match, I will be using a mythic rank game and show you that he can still get that many kills in a mythic rank game. I got to say though, this match was one of the most exhausting game I have ever played and one of the hardest game I had to carry, which you will see throughout this gameplay. So in this game I'm using Purify, because I saw the enemy has a Cho. When he tries to ult you, you can simply use Purify to negate the crowd control. His passive loads him with 6 bullets. The 6 bullets will be a guarantee critical. Also this passive makes Ranger gain less attack speed from item, so it's not a good idea to build him with attack speed items. His first skill is his primary source of damage, and it's kinda of like Harley and Chango ult first skill. You have to predict the enemy's movement. Very important that you should try your best to always land the last bullet, because that will always be a critical hit. His second skill is his dash skill, and after you dash, the next two basic attack will deal extra 10% damage. Also, every time your first skill hit a target, it will reduce the cooldown of this skill. The description of this skill is wrong, it's not only hero, it also works with minions. His ultimate is a little bit trickier. You should always aim this skill, but what I have noticed is when you are close enough or the enemy is just retreating, you can tap the ultimate very fast and let the auto aim do the work. Here you can see my whole team just died. Bottom lane died 2v1 against Kufra. Middle died as well. This is the start of an exhausting game. Usually I would leave the buff for the assassin and mage, but at this point I knew that if I don't start carrying, we are just going to end up losing the game.
keep harassing with your first kill. Remember, Granger doesn't use mana, and if you lose health in the process, you still have the Fighter Emblem to recover health. Here I'm not attacking the minion, I'm using it to bait the Hayabusa, since I know he has low HP. By taking a quick look at the map, I notice the enemies are in middle lane, so that tells me Cho is by himself. When attacking minion, remember to use your second skill first, and then your first skill. This way you can use your second skill twice. Look here, even though I don't even have Blolo's Axe yet, because of the Fire Emblem, I'm regaining a lot of health back. At this point, I know Hayabusa is not strong enough to solo kill me, since I delay his farm by quite a lot. Here was a mistake by me, I got distracted by the Hayabusa that I forgot to look at the respawn time. That was unexpected, I didn't know Kufra ultimate has such a long radius. This is the score so far. Remember when you are playing against heroes such as Cho and Kufra, you will always be their main tiger, so try to keep that in mind and react fast.
try to keep a safe distance from the crowd control heroes, even though Granger deals a lot of damage, he's very squishy. That's why after a third item, I always go for defensive item. We are doing Lord, but pay attention to my team. A lot of time you just have to play with the cards you are dealt. By the way, the ultimate also deals damage and it goes through minions. At this point of the game, even though I had 19 kills, I didn't have a good feeling about this match because I know that one mistake on my part and the game is over right away.
still here. Just to suffer. <laughs>